and welcome to JukesGaming.com, where today we'll be unboxing August's model box. As seen here, here it is, Little Rocks is on top of there, checking out the August box. For those of you who do not know, model box is a monthly subscription service just like Loot Crate, where you pay a little bit of money, you get a lovely little white box through your letterbox every month, just full of miniature funness. You don't know what's in it, there's a theme, uh, and today we're going to find out what that theme is. So without further ado... What's in the box? So here we go. This is time for August's model box, and I'm pretty excited. So here we go. Already I can see some enjoyable models coming through. Right, what do we got here? A bit of paperwork. Let's have a look. So here we go. Post apocalyptic. We have got some sandbags from TT Combat. Lush, love TT Combat's work. Um, Zinj Industries got some sci-fi modern sprue. So that's some basing stuff on there. Looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, a display disc from Model Display Products. Okay, yeah, I like that display disc. Put for a showpiece or a diorama. Okay. Coat d'arms paints. We got two of those in there. We've had some in the past from Model Box, so this would be cool to add to that collection. There she is, Mad Rocks, the Model Box Fox. This is the third miniature in the series now, so I've got one and two. So I'm having a third one now. Out by Matilda as well. Yes, she's carrying on with that. Her work on the Rocks figures is just brilliant. And then we've got some bad Squidow Games Ghost Gaia. Gaia? Gaia? I'm going to offend you that one. Ah, okay, there's a discount code here as well. 15% off. Model box is awesome. <laughs> yes, it is, George. Yes, it is. Cool, so let's have a look at these awesome figures. Post apocalypse. Hello, what's this? Chillcon, convention for all aspects of tabletop gaming. Okay, cool. A little bit of advertisement here for you, all you Chillcon gamers. There you go, free parking. There you go. There you go. So a little bit of advertisement for you guys. Pre book your ticket there. Find them on social media, hashtag Chillcon. There you go, guys. Bit of advertisement for you. Zinj Industries, so this is their magazine. Oh, okay. This will be fun to have a look through. Yeah, we'll have a look at that later. Let's have a look at this stuff now. Here she is. Hello, rocks. Let's get in this, because I love these figures. Here we go. Let's try and get some detail on this bad boy. Yes, hello, rocks. Mad rocks. Oh, that's nice. Nice bit of resin as well, because the the second one, the, um, the American GI Fox, that was a metal fit miniature. Now we're back to resin. Honestly, really prefer the resin. You just get to see those details really nicely. Cannot wait to get that one printed, painted. And here we go. This is the MDP display disc. All right, cool, nice. Resin again. What else do we have in here? It's the coat down paint. Russet red and horse tone bay. Can you see that? It's coming through all right. There we go. So some orange and red, which is nice because this will go with my previous orange and blue. So I've got a fair bit of <laughs> orange coming through with coat arms now. So thanks, George. Uh, Maybe some yellows. <laughs> Who knows? Cool. What's this? Oh, this will be the scenery add-ons. Um, so let's get the back so we can have a better look at this. We've got... This is the post-apocalyptic stuff. So there's a few shells there. Uh, two have snapped off, but they are in the bag, so that's cool. For a couple of skulls. Ah, that looks like uh, the one from Trapdoor. Was that Boney? Boney? Look. Some ammo crates, that's cool. Very nice. What is this? This is the bad squibbo. The bunny mimic. Oh, that looks a bit creepy. So I'm assuming mimic is in. It's not really a bunny. Very nice. Uh, oh, <laughs> I thought you'd forgotten, George. Nice little bit of sweet treat there, just to keep you going. Yum yums. Finally, yeah, this is exciting. I've been trying to get some sandbags for a while now, but they're always out of stock when I try and get them from TT Combat or other suppliers. So that's very cool because 
as a guard player, I'm going to need some of that for my heavy weapons. And then, that's the smallest amount of packaging I've seen for a while. Just goes to show how full these things are. So, way to go, George. Really nice one there. Uh, August is cool. So there we have it. August unboxed. And we have the third of Rox's figuring he's now with us and i gotta say mattel you did a great job really very cool george you should be very proud these rocks figures really nice uh august probably probably my favorite one so far there have been some really good ones in the past but there's some very very usable things there for some of the armies that i collect um so some nice basing elements um and of course with a little bit of fruitella something for the pack lunch later on for all you viewers out there watching right now if you like what you see if it's something you might want to get interested in, there is a link for you to go to the Model Box website and just try a month. Just one month. You can do one month to see what it's like. Um, you can do six months. You can do a year. I do the six monthly ones just because you've got to pay it all up front. So it's 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 sort of an intermediary price. But really enjoy the system. Really like it. If you are already a Model Box subscriber, please check out the Model Box Facebook page because Dukes Gaming is going to have a very exciting announcement for you very soon. So if you are not a subscriber, subscribe. If you are a subscriber, then uh, yeah, check out the Facebook page for Model Box pretty soon. While you're on the Dukes Gaming website, have a look around. There's pre-painted miniatures, there's brand new miniatures in the box. We've got Malifaux, we've got Infinity, we've got Games Workshop, we've got uh, Rumble Slam from TT Combat, plus many more updates coming every week. Uh, great to see you here. Keep shopping.